There is nothing better than a good old southern recipe. And today we're making home fried potatoes and sausage. Mmm mmm. to Cooking with Shotgun Red and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And today we're making a southern classic recipe and we love this recipe. It's as old as the hills. If but not older. If not older. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good one. Hey and by the way if you love what we're doing and you love these recipes don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that button down there. And click the bell and you will get notifications every time we come out with a new recipe. So we have got our potatoes and what we've done is we have gone ahead and peeled up these potatoes. Sheila's doing it with a knife because it's a lot easier to do it with a knife. We are going to cut them in half. The thicker the potato, the harder it is for them to get cooked easily in the pan. So we want to make them kind of thin and we're going to put them in a bowl and set them aside. And then we're going to cut our smoked sausage. And what we want to do with the smoked sausage, you can use any kind you like. So you just want to slice these in, in about the same width that you did the potatoes and kind of long and angled and like bite-sized pieces. So it makes it easy to, to fry up in that pan and all that sauce is going to add a lot of flavor. Okay, so we've got our skillet here on medium heat and we're going to add about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. And you don't need a lot at the beginning. You might want to save some of that because you're going to need it for the potatoes. So I'm just going to put a little bit in right now. And the first thing we're going to want to do is add in our chopped up smoked sausage. Now, if you have bacon grease or something like that that has flavor in it, you can do it that way and use the bacon grease for flavor. But we're going to flavor up this oil with the sausage because it has a lot of salt in it already and it's going to give it a nice flavor. I'm going to brown up this one side and we're going to flip this over and then I'm going to add in our onion as well. While we're waiting for the sausage to brown up, I'm just going to pour a little bit of olive oil in these potatoes and just kind of coat them lightly because there's going to be oil in the pan, but we want to make sure both sides get covered in oil and it'll keep them from turning brown. All right, now that we flip that over, I'm going to add some of our onion in here and this is about medium chopped up onion, about a cup. And I'm putting the onions in with the meat because that's going to flavor as well. We're going to saute all that up and all that juice. Let that continue to fry up. Once those onions are translucent like that, we're going to go ahead and put this on a plate and set it aside so we can get our potatoes cooking. And if you leave a few onions in there, don't worry about it. It's going to just make it taste that much better. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil. All right, so I'm going to add my green beans in here. Get these flavored up a little bit. You can just use, you can use the French style or the cut style or fresh, whatever you have on hand. I'm also going to add just a little bit of garlic. If you got minced garlic, you can use that. Or fresh garlic, dried garlic. You let that all get in there. It won't take very long. Green beans are already cooked. But if they're fresh, you'll have to cook them a little longer. Okay, so those are already pretty much cooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and move those out and set them on that same plate with my smoked sausage and onions. And we're gonna do our potatoes. Add a little bit more oil you know but our potatoes are already coated so we're gonna put our potatoes in here and this is about five large potatoes so we're gonna turn up the heat just a little bit so I can get these browning to medium high make sure that you pick the amount of potatoes that will fit in your pan too because if you put them too high they're not gonna get brown and crispy for you and caramelize like you want them to Okay, so you can see if they put these over, they're turning a nice golden brown. 
And that's what we want. So let them cook and get nice and brown on one side. So as you can see, these are all nice and brown and they're fork tender. So you can just, you can just test them by putting a little fork in there. And if they break apart real easy, you know they're done. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little pinch of our salt and pepper that we've set aside here and just kind of season our potatoes. And then we're going to take our green beans and our onions that we sauteed and our smoked sausage and dump them all back in there. Mix them all together. Garlic, just smell it. And that smell good, Sheila? Yeah, awesome. I start to sound like Steve. What do you think, Sheila? <laughs> it looks good and it smells really, really good. <laughs> it does look like a southern recipe. It does, doesn't it? It does. I'm ready for it. Hurry up. Hurry up, she says. So you can cook it for maybe just another couple minutes, make sure the sausage and everything gets hot again. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook up for another couple minutes. And I'm just gonna season the rest of my salt and pepper. We're using about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Now remember, your sausage already has a lot of salt to it, so. And then I'm also gonna put a half a teaspoon of some red pepper. Because I like a little bite. Just a little bit. And that'll flavor it up nice. A little bit of dried green chives. All right, we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to eat. Mmm. -mm. Doesn't that yeah. smell good? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yummy. You ever scope that white sauce? You can smell it. Too. I, I just want to get a shovel and just shovel it on my plate. Let's try some, Shishi. Bring it on. All right. That just smells delicious. It does look southern. Doesn't it? Yes. Look at that. And I got those potatoes nice and brown and crispy with some. Get the steam going. Yum. I know. You can just look at the steam coming off it. You better cool, let it cool off before you take a bite. Yes. Because. We know how you are. Yeah. <laughs> we know we know how you are. Okay, ready? You ready? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You can taste the garlic and the onion and the potatoes absorb that flavor from the sausage. And it's delicious. Steve would say, is this the best southern home fried potatoes and sausage? If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. be. Thanks again for watching and liking and sharing. And subscribing. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of our social links are right down below along with the recipe. And all of our website addresses, everything to reach us is all right below this. And don't forget about our cookbook, cookbook coming up. And we also have our free membership where you can join and you'll be the first to know about new and upcoming things. There's a link right below this, so please sign up for our free membership. And we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.